My name is Carol Lebon. I'm a professor at Northwestern University and at its most, most basic level what my laboratory studies is embryonic development. Okay, So the population of cells that my laboratory focuses on are called neural crest cells and these are very special cells for a number of reasons. First, the acquisition of this cell type is essentially how vertebrates evolved. What are vertebrates? They're organisms like us, like your pet dog, your pet cat. These are sort of the, the most highly evolved organisms that are alive today. And we are such a large and successful group of animals because at some point in our evolutionary history, we acquired a population of cells that were a stem cell population that allowed us to build onto a very basic body plan, the much more elaborate body plan that we as vertebrates have. So these cells contribute a lot of interesting things to our body. They give us our, our facial structures, and so vertebrates are capable of predation. We're not cell cell filter feeders in the ocean. Uh, they, we've evolved larger brains, not because neural crest cells make the brain, but because we've evolved a skull to house and protect it, so that allowed the brain to get larger without being a detriment to the organism. Uh, we are larger animals because we've evolved a peripheral nervous system to take in sensory input from the periphery and relay it to our brain. We have all sorts of things like septated heart chambers and uh, a fight or flight instinct because of cell types that were layered onto the very simple chordate body plan by these neural crest cells. And so my laboratory studies how these cells form, how they receive instructions to form, and how they know what cells they should contribute to the body plan. The other thing that's really special about these cells is that they get up and go really well. So they start out at one place in the embryo, but they've got a lot of work to do putting cell types in place all over the body plan. And so they migrate and invade actively through the early embryo. And it turns out that the behaviors that they use to do that look just like the behaviors that cancer cells do when they do something called metastasis, leave a primary tumor and go somewhere else in your body to make new tumors. And not only that, but the molecules that control the two processes are the same. And so that means that we can try and understand the behavior of these neural crest cells, and it gives us really important information about how tumor cells co-opt those pathways to do something very similar and move throughout your body. That turns out to be essential for treating and curing cancer because you don't die from primary tumors. Over 90% of cancer deaths are from these metastases. And so by learning how embryonic cells do it normally, we can learn how tumor cells take advantage of that and copy them, and then we can perhaps stop that process, which means we prevent those 90% of deaths of, from cancer.